हेलो गेट एक्सपीरियंस वेलकम टू पार्ट फिफ्टीन ऑफ गेट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सीरीज क्वेश्चन एटीन द सिंबॉल सी डी वी इन एंड वी ओ शोन इन द फिगर डिनोट कपैसिटर आइडियल डायोड इनपुट वोल्टेज एंड आउटपुट वोल्टेज रिस्पेक्टिवली विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आउटपुट वेब फॉर्म्स इज करेक्ट फॉर द गिवन इनपुट वेब फॉर्म हियर द अरेजमेंट इज लाइक दिस कपैसिटर एंड डायोड This is a clamper circuit. So the output will be shifted. This waveform will be shifted. So consider this part where V in is equal to minus three volt. In that case, this input will be minus and plus. And here capacitor is connected. Now in that case, diode will be forward biased and it will be short circuited. And the charged capacitor will be like this. Its polarity will be like this, and the output will be across this short circuit. So it will be zero. So output will be zero volt when input voltage is minus three volt. Now when input voltage is equal to plus three volt, in that case, this will be plus and minus, and this is the capacitor which is already charged with this polarity. and in that case this diode will be for reverse bias so it will be open circuited and this will be output voltage now output voltage is this 3 volt plus this input 3 volt so output will be 6 volt so whenever input is minus 3 volt output is 0 volt and when input is 3 volt output will be 6 volt so this output will be shifted to positive side so option a is correct next question 24 Consider the following circuit. Suppose the input signal P is this, and the input signal Q is this. Then which one of the following output signals are correct? Now for this circuit, this is a NOT gate, so this will be P bar, this will be Q bar, and this is a NAND gate. So Y is equal to P bar and Q bar and NOT of it. So this will be according to De Morgan's theorem, it will be P or Q. So this is a OR gate. OR means if any one of the inputs is one, then output will be one. So here output is input is one, here input is one, here input is one. So output will be one in that case. So only option A is correct. Next question: The minimum number of basic logic gates required to realize the Boolean expression. This expression is given B A or B. Or a, b bar or a. So let us simplify it. So this will be a b or b b that will be simply b plus uh, a b bar a a that will be a. Any input and it will itself that will give you the same thing. Now here we can take a common. So this will be a b or b bar a b. Here also a is there, so this can be written as a, b or b bar or one or b. So here, this will be one only. So a or b. So any input or one that will be one. So this is a or b. So only one basic logic gate, that is or gate is required. So answer is one. And the answer range for this question is one to one. Next question, fifty-eight. A typical biasing of silicon transistor is shown in figure. One volt is given here, fifteen kilo ohm resistor, and here twelve volt is given, minus twelve volt, and hundred kilo ohm resistor is used. The value of common emitter current gain beta for the transistor is hundred. Ignore reverse saturation current. The output voltage is here. We have to find out output. But for that purpose, we have to calculate first VB, that is base voltage. And base voltage is because of these two input sources, one volt and minus twelve volt. So for that, we have to use superposition principle. So VB will be. We will consider one input source, and for that case, we will ground that other source. So if we are considering this one volt, then that will be. Here we will consider one volt, and this will be grounded. 
so input will be voltage across this 100 kilo ohm resistor so that will be 100 k upon 15 k plus 100 k i'm using voltage division rule into 1 volt and for the second case we will ground this 1 volt source and use minus 12 volt supply so this will be grounded so in that case it will be voltage across this 15 kilo ohm resistor so 15k upon 15k plus 100k this into minus 12 volt so that will be vb let us solve it for vb so this will be 100k upon 115k into 1 volt minus 15 into 12 so that will be 180k upon 115k so that will be minus 80 by 115 volt so value of vb is equal to minus 0 0.6956 volt and here emitter is grounded so ve is equal to 0 now vbe is equal to vb minus ve and that will be equal to 0. Point, that will be equal to minus 0 0.6956 volt and it is given that it is a silicon transistor that means this will this will be the voltage this across this pn junction diode that will be 0 0.7 volt and we are getting vb is equal to minus 0 0.6756 which is less than 0 0.7 volt for silicon transistor that means for forward biasing this be junction we require at least 0 0.7 volt and that is not being supplied by this input sources that means here be junction is reversed biased and if be junction is reversed biased in that case it will act as open switch so we have this circuit capacitor as uh, sorry this is collector emitter and here we have resistor and this is base terminal and this is emitter this will act as open switch so we'll have collector junction here we are taking output voltage and this switch is open and this is emitter which is grounded so this voltage v output voltage that will be equal to vcc only and vcc is 12 volt so the output voltage will be 12 volt so here if we have low base voltage in that case this transistor will act as open switch that means transistor is off and that means output is high and if we have high base voltage that means in case of silicon transistor if it is greater than 0 0.7 volt then in that case for high base voltage it will be closed switch and transistor will be in on stage and output will be low so here since base voltage was less than 0 0.7 volt it will be open switch and output will be high and it will be 12 volt and the answer range for this question was 12 to 12. Next question. Consider the operational amplifier circuit shown in figure. The output voltages. Here we will use KCL. So 2 volt. These are the input currents. So let this be I1, I2 and I3. And this will be current passing through the feedback resistor so let it be if so this currents will be same so i can write let this be v voltage at this point will be and because of virtual ground since the other terminal is grounded voltage at this point will also be zero so i can write 2 volt minus v 
since v is 0 i will not write it 2 volt upon 2k plus 3 volt upon 3k plus 5 volt upon 5k these are input currents and that will be equal to v minus vo that is minus v naught upon 4k so this will be if we div multiply by 10 to the power 3 so this will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is minus v naught by that is equal to minus v naught by 4 so it will be 3 is equal to minus v naught by 4 so v naught is equal to minus 12 volt so answer is minus 12 volt and answer key range for this was minus 12 to minus 12 so these are all the questions from gate 2024 paper if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos keep learning